hey everyone this is sunil again so in this video we will be understanding how do we use python uh, when we are macbook or specially you know specifically macbook air ambon with ambon chip and you don't want to install anything on your system okay first of all you need to go to the any browser okay and then uh, and any any browser what you can do is uh, you know uh, you can uh, just open a, a, a new tab and type collaboratory okay collaboratory so once you type collaboratory okay all you need to do is click enter welcome to collaboratory you need to click on this okay you will come something pop up like this you need to click on the new notebook so click on the no new notebook it will bring up a new page where you can do the uh, uh, it will open your python you know th this environment where you can do the coding okay for now you can see uh, i have you can set the title also python basics okay like this the second task uh, since i already have connected it right so second task is what you need to do is you need to mount your drive so you will find somewhere here the logo to mount it okay when you want to use the data etc if you don't want to use any data sets you can directly just connect it click over here it is already connecting okay once you click there it will start uh, connecting and initial initializing the instance okay now server is activated now what you can do you can start coding you can start coding using this for example in this case with the very uh, you know basic command uh, that is import pandas is pd okay and import numpy as np so you can you know directly shift and return button in mac just press that or shift and enter in uh, uh, windows so now pandas what it does is it is very very important and very helpful tool you can go to the pandas documentation also okay or it's, it's written here pandas documentation okay so you can understand what exactly panda is getting started how to use what kind of things it provide what is package overview okay so you can see pandas is a python package provide the fast flexible ex expressing data structure designed to make working with relational and labeled data both easy to intuitive uh, easy and intuitive it aim to the fundamentally high level uh, uh, building block for the doing practical uh, practical real world data analysis basically used for the data analysis okay and also it is a very powerful and flexible open source data analysis manipulation tool available in any languages okay basically it is used to do the data analysis data analysis okay and manipulation manipulation basically you are going to change the data for example if you have 10 variables okay you're going to reduce those variable to two for example you have variable and that variable is in the form of something let's say the units are in thousands you need to convert those to the one or two or one to ten or zero to ten so you will be using the pandas for doing all those things okay and numpy is nothing but similar way you can go and check the numpy pair this, this documentation every time whatever you're using right uh, related, to, related to the python I would recommend you to go to the documentation because documentation is something which will help you uh, uh, you know to get understanding of python to cut, uh, get understanding of any library that you are going to use in in a brief manner okay and numpy is basically used for the uh, mathematical math calculation okay For example, you want to use math. You want to do any any sort of uh, you know uh, 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 thing operation or uh, uh, arithmetic operation, some sort of operation you want to do using that which are related to the mathematics. Okay, so you can use always maths. So now uh, we will see. So two into two. Okay, when you type this, it gives the result of four. Okay, so again let's just try 2 into 2 into 2 so now in this case it will give the operation of 8 so now this is uh, okay so every time we can't do this for, for example we want to directly do uh, uh, we don't want to write this 2 right 
we just directly want to get the 8 without typing multiple times in that case you can do into into 3 let's say this is what you're gonna do okay this will give you the output of 4 and when you do it with 3 it gives you output of 4 okay basically it is a square root okay same as above like we have written here in this line so this is how the operation works let's say 2 plus 2 so it's giving 4 b 2 minus 4 we want to do 4 minus 5 minus 4 it's working as it's giving as uh, output as 1 so now this is okay this is happening this is the operation are happening let's say you want to do some modulus operators and some other etc etc so so uh, you can do like this okay what will be the remainder will be giving you okay remainder is 1 okay this sort of calculation can be happen 4 and then this okay the remainder is 1 okay so this is how these mathematical operations are used so now you want to store these since i have mentioned uh, in the beginning right what variables is variables it will be using variable multiplicity manipulating for the use of ma ma manipulation we will be using variables so for example here what exactly a variable is variable is an entity which stores some sort of data okay for example let's, let's take example of any of those so i am doing x equal to so let's say i want to do 2 into into 3 okay this is what i did i'll enter so now it got saved it rain which means it got saved so now let's just see what exactly x contains it's always a good practice to write print before you're doing anything but yeah if you don't do print also it will work but it's a good practice that you when you want to print the results when you want to see the result of the any any output variable output of any variable then you 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 must try print so we tried print and you can see uh, you know it's coming it's turn, turning out to be 8 okay maybe i i can increase the uh, editor pixel to the 38 or even more if i can let's just try this okay so so now it is like this so now let's say by is equal to okay 5 modulus of 4 okay so now it is uh, it, it as you remember it was giving output as one right so technically we should get a output of one with by so now we have by so we want to do print by let's say don't do it right now it will work directly also so why so now let's say we have another variable we want to store these x plus by if you remember x was 8 by is 1 so technically we should have output as 9 okay when we do this so we have z let's try to print the z okay you can see we got the output of 9 so these are the common basic operations that we do in python even there this is for the like integer till now we did like we can do for the string also what is what exactly a string is basically these words okay these things are known as strings right so string ke liye if you we, we want to save anything in string also you can do string also okay this is x this is y okay now z equal to x plus y let's see if this works or not okay it worked so x let's try to see x so it's ast let's try to see y so it's sunni now let's try to see z okay it's a both of those it concatenated because why because we have results of x and y in in this okay in these two variables and we created the third variable assigned these two variables uh, uh, values okay and it got updated to this so similarly uh, uh, the use of you know uh, uh, semicolon when do we use single colon when do we use uh, 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 this double uh, quote okay so the, the, these use cases let's understand these also for example i have written a variable which is sunil 
सुनील इक्वल टू नाउ आई वॉन्ट टू राइट माई नेम माई विलेज बेसिकली ओके दिस इज माई विलेज लेट से इन माई विलेज देर इज समथिंग लाइक दिस ओके सो नाव सो नाव वट वट विल वट विल हैपन लेट से ट्राई टू सी दिस या इट इज रेजिंग एर ऑफ इन वैलिड सिंटेक्स ओके सो वाई बिकॉज नाउ दिस वॉज स्टार्टिंग ओके दिस इज नाउ कंसिडर्ड एज एंडिंग विच इज ए सिंगल कोड राइट दिस सिंग दिस 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 थिंग राइट दिस इज दिस इज कंसिडर एज सिंगल वन दिस सिंगल वन इज कंसिडर एज द एंडिंग एंड वॉट इज नाउ दिस दिस इज नॉट इवन कंसिडर ड्यू टू दैट इट हैज रेज द रेज द इन वैलिड सेंटेक्स एर सो नाउ इन दिस इन दिस पर्टिकुलर केसेज राइट इन दिस स्पेसिफिक केसेज वी हैव टू बी आर बाउंडेड टू यूज डबल कोड ओके आई वॉन्ट टू यूज डबल कोड लेट जस्ट सी इफ वी हैव रिजॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम आर नॉट ओके सुनील वर्क लेट जस्ट ट्राई टू प्रिंट इट ओके यू कैन सी वी हैव वी हैव गॉट अवर रिजल्ट और एल्स द अल्टरनेट वे फॉर डूइंग दिस इज ओके वी वी जस्ट आई थिंक मे बी आई एम नॉट रियली श्योर बट लेट मी जस्ट ट्राई वी जस्ट से लाइक दिस ओके वी जस्ट बाई पास इट using like this like don't consider it okay let's just see if this works or not okay it worked so this is the another way of doing the same thing okay now let's say i wanted to use uh, something in single column okay manchani uh, this is in in this way and i wanted to use from in Double, dual, dual quote. Okay, wanted to use it in dual quote. Yeah, this was the same example that I have given just now. Let's say this is the thing. This is the situation. Okay, this is the situation where it is in dual quote. Then what are you gonna do? In that case, in that very particular case, what are you gonna do? If this is the situation, like do you have to from it should be like in double quote. manchani this this thing it should be in single quote what what are you going to do you going to do two things okay you going to first thing is the same thing that i explained slash okay it will be it will be will just neglecting it and let it remain in that way okay if you see it is telling that eul while uh, scanning the string literal that means here you have not ended properly how to do like this okay now now it is working so output okay see we got the output the expected way what we wanted so now this slash it cancel this part right this part that we provided it cancel this part it said like ignore it do not in, 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 uh, consider it as special correct okay but it then we have be all the same time we have used dual code okay same time we have used single quote so this has bypassed and this was considered ultimately this string okay now let's say you wanted to do something you wanted to concatenate the string okay can you do it let, let's just try another variable sunil1 okay this is this is one thing and i wanted to concatenate it with from okay let's see if it works or not it worked it worked fortunately it worked okay so this is the output that we will be getting will concatenate both of these two but if we wanted to just write this okay like we have given some gap space without entering plus okay will it write it let's see okay it has it, it has done the the work but if we have like this and we wanted to concatenate it okay we wanted to concatenate it okay we wanted to concatenate it will it do this thing same error right so for that again you have two options you can do this or either the other way okay if this is not working let's say in in such cases then you can do always another way that we have okay so this is how it is working see it has included everything 
even the plus okay if you do plus like this let's say plus you have done like this and it, it still will, will work okay so this is about single good and double good how do we use and when do we use specific cases so you know and we also talked about variable we have to now talk about see now we talked about variables right we talked about operations like arithmetic operation basically plus minus operate uh, and this thing uh, and this thing okay modulus and uh, uh, other things uh, like how when do we do we divide uh, uh, etc basically okay and and this also this thing this thing we, we these are uh, arithmetic operations which are allowing you to do the uh, uh, arithmetic operations basically mathematical operations so now we uh, uh, must understand when I write let's say I, I wrote sun equal to uh, sun equal to Monday okay sun equal to Monday so this is the thing this equal assignment it, it is it is called assignment operator okay it basically assign the this string to the this variable okay this Sunday is in this sun is called variable and this is called assignment operator because it is assigning some values okay what values this is the Monday the string the value is assigned let's just print when you print we as we know that it will fetch it will give the result of Monday okay so you can see Monday so this is all the basic things that we do now moving to the if else statement okay let's say we wanted to understand if else or let's say loop okay before if else loop so number equal to 2 okay if number okay let's say uh, not equal to 2 during that time what do you want to do print and, and you you can take input also okay number equal to 2 here you can take input also input what you input input you can take you can take input of string or yes uh, you can take input of integer okay so this is input of an integer if number is not equal to 2 print let's say I lost this match okay else else print try again okay let's see if it if this works or not so number is three yeah so it has given me try again so this is a simple if else statement right when we talk about the if else statement this is how it works I'll tell you the simple logic as well okay I can explain line by line also but let's just uh, try to understand using this small example so here I wanted to do 2 okay it has given me 2 why because it is not understanding that this is integer okay this is integer it is not understanding this is integer when number if number not equal to 2 okay number is 2 I need to say that it is it integer or not okay so let's just try to modify it here only let's see if we get gets it or not okay it's telling try again when not equal to one it is to try again when not equal to one I lost the match okay is not equal to 2 it is 1 so it is giving I lost the match okay so now now if I change it to 2 okay now let's just just see again this if I put 2 try again okay now let's just try once again printing this it's 1 try again now let's just try 3 okay let's just try 3 
try again so now it's 2 is not equal to 2 change the integer to the one number equal to 2 okay number equal to 2 and integer 1 so we'll fetch the i lost the match so how it is going to build this logic so this is a variable i have assigned this variable name num i have assigned a value of 1 which is an integer so now i'm telling integer i'm going to put some value which input is a you know this function basically it takes the number of uh, uh, in input in it takes the input in integer because i have specified it integer so it will take no, uh, input in integer okay so now i am telling if number if 1 is not equal to 2 okay 1 is not equal to 2 which is i have written 1 print i lost the match okay else if it is not equal to 2 if it is or else yeah here i can type one more also alif okay alif number equal to 2 this can be the right statement okay I can write print you have you matched okay you match the pattern and it's unlocked it's now unlocked okay it's not else print try again till you succeed Okay, this is, this is something you can do. Just try running it. Oh, sorry. So here you are giving assignment. You can't give the assignment operator. You have to give equal equal to. Okay, then only it will work. In that case, only it will work. So it's two. I lost the match. Okay, integer is one. It is two. So now number let's just do it okay let's just do this let's just do no let's just change the number value okay i have type to you match the pattern and it's now unlocked okay understand so i have two and i gave two that means it was matching so which means number is equal equal to two okay this is another situation or another statement the if statement when we want to write multiple time then we type elif okay elif just nothing when multiple statement you want to write under the if then you will start it with the elif okay finally it is the al statement okay if you want to run this it will go to this this portion these both of the situations are not meant okay then it will go to the else part However, else part is not required in this particular scenario, but yeah, just to you guys make to understand that how exactly it can work going forward. So now let's just try uh, another also. For example, I wanted to try for the uh, loop. Okay, this is a, a if else statement, right? This is okay. You can do it. So now let's say do while loop and for loop. Let's try for the for loop. Okay, I wanted to write some numbers square of some number so for this is a range i wanted to write 10 and 20 range okay so for item in range for is the for loop okay basically which is what is the loop first of all so loop is the thing when you want to do repetitive task or you wanted to multiply multiple time you want to do something let's say i have i have a data set in data set i have to find out the correlation of two variables but those two variables uh, uh, you know uh, let's say we have to correlate with the fi last five five uh, years of same variables so need to find out multiple times the relationship in the yearly daily weekly basis okay i can't do just one by one right and also i can't do just simply putting the uh, df dot correlation because it will not give it will not give different different uh, correlation so when we are this kind of scenario and you have to repeat the correlation for the multiple times when you have to do anything for the multiple times then the loop comes okay it does the same thing loop through okay it it basically iterate through all the items one two three 
वन वन एंड टू टू एंड थ्री थ्री एंड फोर फोर एंड फाइव समथिंग लाइक दैट ओके देन दैट्स वाई इट इज़ वेरी हैंडी इट इज़ वेरी यूजफुल फॉर आई इन रेंज दिस ना वॉट आई वॉन्टेड टू डू आई वॉन्ट टू सी वॉट आर दीज नंबर्स सो आई इज नथिंग बट जस्ट द यूनिवर्सल वेरिएबल्स यू कैन से ओके विच इज बेसिकली आई स्टैंड फॉर आइटम ओके विच इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन पाइथन वी यूज इन इज यूज फॉर द इन इज ऑपरेटर इन ऑपरेटर इज यूज टू फाइंड आउट द रेंज इन इन मीन्स बिटवीन यू कैन से इन बिटवीन ओके सो रेंज इज अ मेथड और कैन कॉल फंक्शन विच टेक्स टू आर्ग्यूमेंट्स स्टार्टिंग रेंज एंडिंग रेंज एंड ऑल्सो इट टेक्स इंडेक्स ऑल्सो आई थिंक सो सो यू इफ यू डू लाइक दिस यू विल सी यू हैव रेंज स्टॉप रेंज ओके स्टेप साइज स्टार्ट स्टॉप एंड स्टेप साइज ओके दिस इज थ्री पैरामीटर्स इट टेक्स स्टार्ट स्टॉप एंड स्टेप साइज ओके स्टार्ट आई वॉन्ट स्टार्टिंग टेन आई वॉन्ट स्टॉपिंग ट्वेल्व ट्वेंटी ओके आई वॉन्ट स्टेप साइज ऑफ टू और वन और लेट्स थ्री लेट्स से थ्री बट आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू एक्सप्लेन राइट नाउ दिस दिस पार्ट जस्ट स्टिक टू दीज टू पॉइंट सो दैट वी विल एट लीस्ट अंडरस्टैंड वट एक्जैक्टली दिस बेसिक थिंग इज ओके नॉट टू मेक कोड मच कॉम्प्लिकेटेड बिकॉज वी कैन डू इट ओके हाउ एवर नो बडी इज परफेक्ट इवन आई एम नॉट सो लेट जस्ट ट्राई सो वट इट डिड इज यू कैन सी फ्रॉम टेन टू नाइनटीन बिकॉज लास्ट इंडेक्स इज समथिंग नॉट कंसिडर्ड ओके दिस लास्ट इंडेक्स इट विल नॉट बी कंसिडरिंग इफ यू वॉन्ट टू कंसिडर ट्वेंटी ऑल्सो यू हैव टू स्पेसिफाई ट्वेंटी वन ओके देन इट विल कंसिडर लास्ट ऑल्सो बट नॉर्मली लास्ट वन इट विल नॉट कंसिडर ओके सी नाउ इट कंसिडर ट्वेंटी ऑल्सो सो ना ऑल इट से आई वॉन्ट आई वॉन्ट इवन नंबर्स फ्रॉम टेन टू लेट से आई वॉन्ट इवन नंबर फॉर फ्रॉम टू टू ट्वेंटी all the even number from 2 to 20 what will i do i know that 2 is i can't try 2 okay i know that oh, okay i can try try 2 also 20 for 20 i know 20 okay i can specify the step size also here i want to specify the step size of 2 let's see what will come so it came 2 4 6 8 and until 20 all the even numbers right with this step size let's say i want same From two to twenty, I want now even odd numbers. Okay, how do I get odd numbers? Just nothing. Just to change the step size. Let's make it one, or let's make it three. Okay, let's try with three first. What will happen? Let's try with one first. Okay, it has given all the numbers. It's not giving even numbers or odd numbers. So for that, we have to try three. Okay. Just change the three, and it will give you all the all the uh, odd numbers. Two, five, uh, two, five, eight. Okay, it has not given. So which means you need to specify the in start index also. So when you do this, it should give you the expected output. Okay. So the ah uh, sorry, this is a little problem that I was making here. So step size of two, one to twenty because. When you want even number, then you do two to twenty uh, one. When you want odd numbers, then you do uh, one to with one three with the step size of two. So one two three, okay, three five something like that. Three five seven. It will now give you all the uh, expected odd numbers from two to twenty. So one three five seven nine. You can see all it has given all the odd numbers. Okay, this is for loop. no while loop let's just i am not uh, i mean i i'm not uh, anything you know i don't have anything in mind uh, for the while loop uh, to uh, you know specific example uh, for you people uh, like uh, like how do i you know share it with you but uh, we can still try while loop like if you want to try uh, you know how exactly it works okay so while loop is basically very easy Okay, when we say while loop, we have to set the some some variables. Okay, setting some variable initial value. Based upon that, we can uh, we take it move uh, forward and we try to understand uh, the components. Right? Let's say I'm setting some value n equal to five. And I know I don't know if this will be right, but let's just try number equal to five. So now I will say while while means jab tak in Hindi, right? So jab tak. Till till what time? So while number, okay, is uh, less than zero, okay, I'll end the code. 
uh, and uh, I'll tell some another. Okay, I can do this also, but but let's just try little tough this time. Then I'll say number equal to number plus. Okay, or or I can say minus. Let's say minus one. Okay. So now let's just try if else condition with this if n or the number. Okay. If number equal equal to two, the same that just now we did. Then I want to break it. I want to break the loop. Do nothing, and print. Okay, print the number. This is what we want to do. Okay, and also uh, in addition to this, I want to write another. Keep uh, you know keep in mind this indent in indentation. I will tell you about indentation. I am really sorry. I forgot to tell indentation. What are, what is indentation? So now in this in this case, you will say loop is done. No loop. No loop now, no loop now, no loophole. <laughs> let's just make it this way. So, okay, let's see if my code works or not first. Okay, so this is done, but it 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 has it has, it has done two time. I'll tell you why it has done two time. So number number equal equal to five. Okay, this what we did is in different way. We have provided the input. Okay. Have provided the input, but here we have not provided input. We already have specified number equal to five, while number less than zero, okay, which is not. It is not less than zero. Then number equal to minus one, basically last index, okay. Now when you want to see, let's just see. This is how you can visualize every code, okay. How you can visualize every code. So number equal to number minus one, okay. Number minus one. So if number equal equal to two. Okay, break print number. So number contain now two. Okay, got it. So this is how it will work. Like this is the while number. It is very easy to understand. Like you will set some value for the variable number. Then you will say if number is not meeting this, do this. Okay, else do that. Okay, here you have put posted another. Uh, I think this is little tough that. Will not be for you people. It will not be easy to understand, but uh, let's just make it very simple. Okay, number equal to five while number is less than zero. Print. Okay. If so, now here you can do if also, or simply you can uh, uh, start with the uh, number, like number equal to number plus one. Okay. Print number again, or else end this. Okay, end this with else. I won't get it. Okay, let's just try if our syntax is right. Okay, so see, it is now what it is doing. It is running in a infinite loop. Okay, it will keep on running it. Why? Because we have our value, okay. We have our value is one. So what we need to do? We need to do minus, because we wanted to reach to the stage of zero, not to the stage after five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten. Because it will never be equal to zero, right? When we the moment when we do minus one, okay. Let's just stop the. Uh, interrupt the loop first. Okay, interrupted. So now number equal to number minus one. Print number आ गया और I won't get it. Okay, I won't get it. So see, it was first time, second time, third time, fourth time, five time. Okay, since I know because this is something negative index like minus one plus one, plus one plus one is something going. After five plus one plus one, okay, plus one equal to six. Plus one equal to seven. Seven plus one equal to eight. Eight plus one equal to nine. Nine plus one equal to ten. So it will be running till infinite time. Infinite time. Okay, it will ending, ending with loop. Ending and ending with nothing. Ending with Nothing. Okay, it will have no end. 
so instead of doing that what we gonna do is we gonna say we gonna update the number value initially we set it to 5 now we gonna say number equal to number minus 1 which means in every iteration it is telling in every iteration okay try to do 5 minus 1 equal to 4 4 minus 1 equal to 3 3 minus 1 equal to 2 2 minus 1 equal to 1 okay 1 minus 1 equal to 0 so it's almost 5 5th 6th there are 5 iterations and this is the 6th iteration the, in this 6th iteration when y1 minus 1 happens equal to 0 see what was the what was logic we set the number to 5 we said while number ki jab the number is not reaching is not less than okay is not here is a greater the while number is greater than uh, okay we have said while number is greater than okay. till till that time see now number is not greater than 0 right at this point till this point it was greater than 0 okay but now at this very particular time when we reach this iteration okay since i already mentioned what exactly loop is right it run one by run any repetitive task it has to do it will run one by one to do that task we do use loops so this is example of while loop where when we reached one minus one okay so what we we, we will not do this all compute computer will do all one minus this this calculation right number minus one every time it will be only doing internally minus one minus one minus one till we reach to zero that means now number is not greater than zero it is equal to zero but it is not greater than zero okay so in that time it will print okay and it will execute it will not execute this okay it, it will execute both why because we have not specified uh, other uh, explicit statement here Ki when you wanted to print num again i just said print this or else also print this both the cases that's why it, it is giving both the cases these two print let's say we don't want to include the uh, uh, we want to change this num agya for uh, equal equal to okay it's not equal to okay number is not equal to minus one so i mean this, this will be little different for you people to understand or simply i can just do like this okay so it will be now doing only one time i won't get it see okay 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 i won't get it so these were the five iteration and sixth iteration when it became zero it has given this so this is something about loop right so now coming to the next part that we are going to understand in this uh, video that is now methods functions what are those methods what are what are the methods what are what are the functions so functions are just nothing okay if you go to the definitions See, a function is a block of code which is only run when it is called okay you can pass data known parameter into the function a function written see this is not giving the right thing but yeah let me tell you that what exactly function is okay so function is something when we want to do anything in repetitive manner okay for example i have to clean the data when you have become I, uh, so right now i'm a data scientist so when i wanted to clean the data right i wanted to make data clean every time because in real world what happens data comes through the pipeline you don't every time you don't clean you personally you won't be picking the variables so like, like this is a variable it is containing let's say these all values and i wanted to remove equal to equal to equal to so i can't do this all the time manually if i do manually how much time it will take right a lot of time so to avoid this right i prepare the function and so that i can just directly put this particular variable to that function as a parameter and it does the job for me okay it does the job for me so let's just try any any function okay it's and function start why what is the difference with the function and the method so method is something which is associated with the specific object okay there is a oops concept when, when you are going to construct a class in in the class you will define some uh, variables those variables are nothing called as uh, uh, you know the, the parameter of those variables those are known as uh, um, uh, no and in that also you know you would define the function let's say there is a class human okay class human you have initialized it you have the variables for class human that are those those are known parameters okay those are known parameters and now you have also uh, uh, you know function function defined defined under this class 
अंडर क्लास ओके फंक्शन डिफाइंड अंडर क्लास बिच बेसिकली डज सम सॉर्ट ऑफ वर्क ओके सम सॉर्ट ऑफ वर्क सो दोज आर नोन एज द फंक्शन इन साइड अ क्लास इज नोन एज मैथड एंड दोज मैथड आर एसोसिएटेड विद स्पेसिफिक ऑब्जेक्ट और वट आई जस्ट नो टोल्ड राइट फॉर एग्जाम्पल ह्यूमन क्लास इज हैविंग लेग लेग इज ऑब्जेक्ट एवरी थिंग इन पाइथन इज अ ऑब्जेक्ट ओरिएंटेड सो सो लेट से आई हैव ह्यूमन ह्यूमन इंस्टेंस ऑफ ह्यूमन क्लास सो इन दैट देर इज अमन वेन वेन यू डू दिस राइट लेट से नम डॉट एनी थिंग डॉट सो दीज ऑल आर ऑब्जेक्ट्स बिच आर एसोसिएटेड दिज ऑल आर मेथड बिच आर एसोसिएटेड विद दिस पर्टिकुलर ऑब्जेक्ट बिच इज नम ओके सो दिस इज इजिएस्ट वे टू मेक यू अंडरस्टैंड वट इज द मैथड एंड वट इज अ फंक्शन एंड द फंक्शन इज समथिंग दैट आई एक्सप्लेन ऑलरेडी कि टू डू द रिपिटेटिव टास्क ओके दैट्स एग्जैक्टली वाई वी डू यूज फंक्शन सो दैट वी डोंट वी अवॉइड अवर सेल्फ जस्ट डूइंग विद विद हैंड यू नो जस्ट रिमूविंग दिस विद हैंड रिमूविंग दिस एंड रिमूविंग दिस and removing this it takes a lot of time so it does us automatically it, it does the work let's say i wanted to define any function define some num okay basically which takes sum of the number what sum of the number let's say x and y it takes two argument x and y okay so oh sorry so this is the the thing that it, it will do so now sum is equal to so you will define sum sum is equal to okay where in the, in this case you need to understand the components of the code first of all for example uh, if you want to understand right so uh, you want to understand the function okay uh yeah really sorry so if you want to uh construct uh, this this function so for this you should understand the component of the function what exactly uh components are there right in function uh what are the function that that you are using for example here it is a define keyword okay define keyword so in define keyword it is used to define the function okay it is used to define the function and this one is basically the name of your function that you want to give let's say uh, i am going to put it like this okay and these two which are inside right these are known as parameters okay these are known as parameter in this case these are the positional because these are position based okay there are two kind of parameters now positional parameters and keyword parameters let's say i wanted to say x is equal to 10 only y is equal to 12 only baba so in this case you know position doesn't matter this is a keyword you just need to specify using keyword because why because x value when you say keyword x value will will be always equal to 10 only y value will always equal to 10 only but in case of the positional arguments when you do change it the value of x and y also changes okay so that is a difference and you should understand when to use positional when to use keyword arguments okay in this case we have taken these two ladies and gentlemen so uh, yeah i don't want to make very complicated this lecture and this basic python class so that is exactly why you know i am just going through very easy and easy peasy manner so so now this is a big able okay i wanted to say like let's say sum of numbers okay inside this uh, function sum of number so what i wanted to do i wanted to do x plus y i don't know what exactly value of x is what exactly value of y is but i am just going to explain this i'm just writing that sum of number should be having x and y x plus y so now it has now another thing which is very interesting thing which is called return okay this return statement what i wanted to return you can pass it clearly or you can say return the i want to return the sum of number i want to see this this thing okay sum of numbers i wanted to see what exactly it is so this is guys this is this one of three lines it's called function okay it is a one function and you can call later also let's just see if we worked we did it rightly or not okay if there are, there are some mistakes let's just correct it let's just uh, find out if there is indentation error there or not okay 
they can be they can be so it is x n by x plus 1 is something we have given okay it has taken x n by we have not closed see we have done big mistake we are not closing the we every time this is very important you need to close your you need to end your code so this sign right this small sign it ends your code if you don't do this it will give you always this syntax error so this is something that you need to always consider when you are writing a function you need to end your code and then you need to write your logic my logic is sum of number x plus 1 and then i wanted to return it okay now let's just try if we are on the track or not okay now you wanted to call okay you wanted to call some num just copy it this is already now this is your now you your function you already created it okay this is already ready made function you put any two numbers it will give you the what it will give you it will give you the sum of the number you don't have to do personally like we used to do right we used to do like 2 plus 2 2 plus 2 then it used to say like this okay now now you be here we have to specify like we are doing plus we are doing minus we are doing or anything modulus we have to specify it but now since we already created a function we don't have to specify now plus minus one. we have already specified it here okay you can change it also you can write n number of lines here that do with these two number get us some of the number also also get us the uh, multiply also okay multiply also okay and uh, yeah multiple multiplication you can mention like this same way multiply it okay but just not to make it more complicated just understand with the simple simple ones so now i have 100 i have this thing okay this is the one number that i am going to post and this is the second number that i am going to let, let's just see if it works or not see this has given the output of 7 8 5 uh, i mean 7 8 6 2 let's just see if we do this using the uh, you know we take the python help okay and do the same thing let's just verify maybe our code is wrong it is giving wrong answer all the time we don't want to rely on this 7862 7862 which means we wrote a function which is giving right output okay so everything is good so we are good to go with the function so this is called function and now i can explain a little more thing about the you know how do we write loop nested loop okay and how do we uh, mix up the function inside function how do we write root how do we write uh, if else statement and uh, how do we you know kind of a uh, uh, mix all the things possible things to make uh, and make a logic and come up with the different complex uh, co complex uh, solution okay let's say we, we wanted to and why do we use i can uh, i can make you understand all those things but uh, I, I think this was enough just to understand the basics or just to get yourself a little little good understanding and you know just to make yourself comfortable with python that if you wanted to go ahead with pursue python or not so i don't think so guys this is so hard or so tough okay i have not taken any resource exam uh, resources help right now it is something i was remembering and uh, yeah if i can remember you guys can do too okay coming uh, i think this is enough for the day Thank you so much uh, for watching this video. Do subscribe and hit share button. I'm not gonna say that. Alright.